the city screams. Can you hear it? Mourning the memory of its newborn luster, cursing the criminal filth in which it now drowns, lamenting its abandonment by those entrusted to protect it, but it is not abandoned, and one protector remains. I am the lone voice of justice that cries out in the night. I am the shadowy warrior who fights for those who cannot, walking the morally ambiguous roads that others will not. I am the dark blackness. Okay, I, I, I get all of that, but what I'm trying to tell you is I think there's been some kind of a mix-up. I mean, I work for a temp agency. Exactly. I currently find myself without a sidekick and with no child ward standing by to fill that role. Tommy Egan had been a stalwart apprentice of mine for several months until he was sadly lost during a recent contretemps with Baron Grimm. Don't fret, Twilight. When the Baron was restraining us, I used an old carnival technique to inflate the muscles in my wrists. Now all I need to do is relax them, slip my bonds, and reach the laser knife secreted in my utility belt. The ropes restraining us are three centimeters in diameter, and are positioned 20 centimeters above the flame on that candelabra. Thus, if my calculations are correct, we should have enough- ah! I think I forgot to carry the two. Hang on, I thought Twilight was a chick. Ah, you're thinking of Kelly Butler, the Twilight before Tommy. She didn't work out. You seem to go through a lot of Twilights. The point is, Danny, I have turned to your agency's services until a permanent replacement can be chosen. Circus children aren't orphaned every day, you know. You're joking. I am, of course. I don't solely rely on circus children. I source my sidekicks from a wide pool. Juvenile delinquents, computer geniuses, athletic champions, and now you, Twilight. Not Twilight, just Danny. For there are two things that can never change in this city. There must always be a dark blackness. The lone voice of justice that cries. You've told me this part already. Right, sorry. There must always be a dark blackness. The lone voice of justice that cries out. Right. And where there is a dark blackness, there must also be a twilight, for twilight is the closest thing to the dark. Wow. Okay, um, look, maybe we can just call my supervisor and she can explain to you that... Oh my god, that is high. We'll have to get you a costume. Tim Truman's old one should fit. Of course, we're gonna have to get it dry cleaned. Poor Tim. I'm not wearing tights. Very well. Cape should suffice. Not even the cape. The cape is dignified. I don't think so. Lots of people wear capes, not just superheroes. Who? Lots. Who? Gentlemen. Dignified gentlemen. Promenading around the town. You really don't get out much in the daytime, do you? Look, I'm really sorry, and I hate to be the bad guy here, but I, I feel like you're not listening to me, and so I'm gonna have to put my foot down. I'm putting my foot down. I'm not a superhero, okay? I'm a, I'm a temp. Do you understand? I do, I do filing and photocopying. I answer phones. I don't even do it very well. I'm just doing it to pay my way through drama school. Drama? Forgive me, Danny, but that hardly seems like a sensible career choice. Eagles afoot. Quickly, Twilight, jump off this ledge, aim this grappling gun at any load-bearing flagpole or gargoyle you see as you fall, and then swing keeping your arms relaxed or they may detach. Then hit this release and free fall the remaining 40 feet to the alley, taking the thugs by surprise. What are you even talking about? Time is fleeting, Twilight. Jump, gargoyle, swing, release, free fall. It's really quite simple. Gravity does most of the work. I heard you. No, I don't have any skills for that. It's suicidal. Are you crazy? What am I saying? Danny, I know you're scared. The world has told you you're not special, but I know the truth. There is greatness in you, Danny. And I know you've felt it. I feel like I've got something to contribute, but... You long for drama, but you're living your life in fear. I am. It's time to stop rehearsing. It's time to take to the main stage. You are gonna leap off that ledge. And you are gonna fly. And Danny, you're gonna be glorious. I will. I believe in you, Danny. But it's not enough that I believe. You have to believe in you, too. Do you believe, Danny? I don't know. Do you believe, Danny? I'd like to think so. Do you believe, Danny? Yes. Yes, I do. Then you fly, Danny. Okay. You fly. I'm gonna fly. You fly, Danny. I'm gonna fly.
You signalled Inspector? No, I called your pager, which is not the most convenient form of communication given it's not 1992 and this isn't a drug deal. You should use the signal. I'm not using the signal. It's a safety hazard. You blinded a helicopter pilot. You killed five people demonstrating with it last month. I can buy a lower wattage bolt. You can buy a phone. I have a phone, except I can't get I the message. I really back. don't care. Of course. What have you got for me? Daniel Carruthers, 24, white male. Massive trauma suggests that he fell from the roof and somehow he lost both of his arms coming down. Oh. Sounds like natural causes to me. Well, no, there's more. He was a temp. Fourth one we found dead this month. Four? Really that many? Yeah. Gee. Sounds like we have a diabolical new villain on our hands. Playing some sick game with us. Well, it's kind of sad as far as gimmick villains go. Well, I'm on the case, Inspector. Don't you worry. Where, where is your offside of dusk or whatever the hell it is you call him? Twilight. He's nearby. Yes, on the case already. Trusty Twilight. Young, impetuous, full of life. In fact, I'm going to see him right now, to see if he's found any clues. Can I grab that? Could come in handy. Hello, temporary talent? Excellent. I need to organize a temporary staffing solution. Who am I? I am the lone voice of justice that cries out in the night. I'm the shadowy warrior who fights for those who cannot, walking the morally ambiguous roads that others will not. I, I can hold, yes, 